What's going on, everybody? I hope you're doing well today. My name is Joe. You're watching the Joe Wins Project TV right here on YouTube, man. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's about uh, 5 p.m., I would say. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get on here and uh, just touch on this uh, subject that uh, was talked about last night on Stafford's Music Studio. I absolutely love this hangout. I don't go to bars. I'm not doing things I want to hang out with everybody. So. <laughs> it was very interesting um, talking about uh, Gibson and Epiphone. Um, is there really that big of a difference? Now, I know this can start a huge debate, and uh, people are probably unsubscribing right now. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably thinking, you know, F that, man. Um, uh, but is there really that big of a difference? Or, or, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, I, I have four Epiphones myself. Um, I believe they play fantastically, man. Uh, uh, the one that I played in the video you're about to see, uh, which is a new original song, um, is the Zach Wilde Epiphone uh, Bullseye model, which uh, I acquired that uh Man, quite some time. I think it was, what, 2006 is when I got that guitar. Um, I've had it ever since. Um, so I thought, you know, since we talked about Epiphone and Gibson on David's show last night, I figured, you know, man, I'm, I'll play my Epiphone for a while. You know, I haven't haven't gave it some love, no playtime in a while. So um, I have played Gibson, Gibson guitars in the past. Um, for me, I mean, let me put a disclaimer out there i'm not uh i'm not a guitar tech i'm not a professional at anything i'm just going by which is just my opinion um uh, i never could afford a gibson um to tell you the truth uh so I always went the epiphone route um and i've been very happy with that um uh, so i have no no uh argument at all which one's better than the other uh so my playtime my guitar playtime i should say has been more on epiphones uh, than gibson because i don't don't have one um so uh now my son has one he's got a gibson and he's let me play it and uh, it's great and it's really great but i was like man i really i really can't tell that much of a difference um maybe it just comes down to the the electronics and probably the wood i know r2 brought that up last night he said you know the wood has a lot to do with um the uh more higher price guitars i guess you could say um i've never really delved into the whole wood or tone wood thing um i guess i don't know i mean i couldn't tell you what guitar is made out of what wood or anything here i don't i have no idea i guess because i've just never really cared to get into that pool of of that you know i've never i've never really cared to dip my toes in that i was just like you know does the does the neck feel good i mean i was reaching for a guitar you can't see it inside the frame but does the neck feel good you know uh is this guitar real heavy is it or is it kind of light um you know uh plug it up and hear what it sounds like you know that's always been me so um but i think you know i, I mean look at Zach Wilde did a video some time back where he played a little Hello Kitty guitar and it still sounded like Zach, you know. I'm sure it wasn't the best quality of instrument, um, but it was still Zach, man, and he still tore it up because he knows how to play. Um, but anyway, with all that being said, uh, the guitar you're about to see next is my Epiphone Zach Wilde model. Uh, and it is a great playing guitar. I think that guitar, of course, he has his own thing now with Wild Audio, but uh, I think that guitar, um, when I got it new in 2006, I want to say it was like, uh, it was right at $800, I believe. It was right in that area. And uh, I got a Gator Hard Shell case. Uh, actually, it came with it believe it or not that was the one thing that's why i jumped on it i was like holy crap man that case is coming with that guitar um because they were i guess it was some kind of closeout thing ams was having but i love the guitar it's great man it plays fantastic and i was like damn if this plays well as it does can you really tell a difference on the gibson model 
You know, I'm, I'm sure you can, uh, but I just don't see where it'd be some huge revelation. You know, I could be wrong, man. Let me know what you think in the comments, you know. So anyway, here comes uh, this new original song that was played on the Epiphone Zach Wild model. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And until next time, my name is Joe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.